All right, so we got a drive opened up and this one was giving us an F820 bleeder overload. This is a ceramic wire wound resistor and we believe this is the culprit. So it goes right back there and it's kind of a pain to get to. This one is giving us a ground fault, so we're gonna take that resistor out of here, swap it with this one and see if we can't make this one run again. And this has warranty void if removed stickers on here, so it was already been repaired. So normally if you see that, you would just leave this drop alone and not touch it. But that warranty ran out in 2018, so we're just going to cut that. So the top of the resistor is right here. And we have to get to a screw in the bottom right there. First thing is I'm just pulling these ribbon cables off, so I got a little bit more room. I know you can't see anything, but I can't really either. Kind of an angle right here. And we can fix seven of here on the floor. If you get birch, well, I'm analyzing one that has a rip the ground fault. The other ones that just don't make it, you don't want to make, you just need to relay. Don't save the nose for the relay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. So there's the bracket that we don't want to lose. Yeah, we know better. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> there you go. This is a resistor, so it doesn't really have a polarity, but I want to mark it anyway just to make sure. These spade terminals will just pull right off. So that was actually right there. It said 560R K. So that one was right where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's pretty close too, 557. So it might not even be this. Probably could need help. This is going to work, but I got a little screw holder. Oh, hell yeah! Damn. Right, they huh? They knocked it when you were little. <laughs> Okay, so that one's in. Let's reconnect these ribbon cables that I popped out.
just jot down what we did, and it's ready to test. And so we're in now, powered on, A5. So far, so good. We just have to monitor it now and make sure nothing changes.